In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen here from the paper one of the Ordinary Level Leaving Cert 2004. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, there should be a link to the playlist in the description below. Now, I'll be doing this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing in the classroom. But remember, this isn't the classroom, you're on YouTube, so take advantage of those tools pause the video, rewind, fast forward, or slow it down if I'm talking too fast. If you find this video useful or any of my other videos, I would appreciate a like or a subscribe. And what helps out the channel the most is sharing it with someone else who could be doing the Leaving Cert. In question seven, they tell us about an experiment where we're measuring how many bacteria are somewhere. And they tell us this equation here, PT, uh, roughly um, models it, so it it's, gets close to the correct answer, or at least they hope it does. Um, so using this model, using this equation here, they'd like you to fill in this table here. Time, T is time, zero to, uh, to five hours, and B, what I have as B here is the number of bacteria in, in the thousands. And they helpfully, they've already done a couple for us, 16 and 12. So how do they get 16 and 12? They simply put two into this equation. And if you put two in, you get eight, you get um, 24, which is minus 16, plus 12 is minus four, plus 20, 16. And the same with four, you put four in. So that's all we need to do. We need to put each of these numbers in here. Zero is very easy. Uh, zero times zero times zero, zero. Um, zero times zero times six, zero. Zero times six, zero plus 20. The first one is plus 20. Very easy to do. Second one, fairly easy as well. One. One cubed is one. Uh, one squared is one. Uh, and one is one. So we just need a one minus six plus six. They cancel. So we get a one and a 20. We get 21. Do this slowly. Do a nice slowly. Write out everything so the examiner can see. Because um, we, we pretty much have to write it out with three here. Fill three in. Three times three times three. 27. You can do all this in a calculator, just make sure you get it right. Uh, minus 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 6, 54. In fact, I recommend doing a calculator. You're less likely to make mistakes. Uh, 3 times 6 is 18 plus 20. Um, again, do all this on a calculator and we would get 11. It's equals 11. Um, also, when I say do it in a calculator, do it twice. Do it three times on a calculator. You have time. Make sure you get the right answer. Again, put five in here, five times five times five, all in the calculator, and we would get at the end 25. So that's uh, what they want to do for part one. Uh, for part two, they give us a graph. Uh, my graph's not gonna be as good as theirs. It's uh, on a whiteboard, so for, uh, forgive me for that. Uh, but they give you this uh, blank graph, and they want you to fill in this information on it. So uh, how do we do that? Zero, of oh, the bottom row here is T. This is, a, I've called it bacteria, but they've, they've wrote in the same as they wrote here, number of bacteria. And this is numbered up to five. So for zero, here's zero, we put in 20. Zero, 20, fill it in. For one, we do 21. For uh, two, we 16, and so on. We just, um, you should be able to do this a lot more accurate than I do because uh, of be able to use a ruler and they they already have lines out for you as well. Fives up here. And then they want you to just connect these lines. If you put a draw a line between all of these, uh, you usually lose a mark. In this case, I'm not sure if you would because it's only a model, but we do know it's a cubic expression. So try and put a cubic shape on it. It's gonna be smooth, it's gonna turn. It's gonna turn again. We know cubic uh, functions look like this. They, they're not all straight lines. Anyway, that is part two. Uh, for part three, we return to just the equation here and they ask us to find the derivative. They ask us to find the derivative of uh, P. It's roll like this, P prime T. Um, so how do we get the derivative? It's just a, a rule we follow. We take the power and multiply it by the number in front. The number in front of one. We don't bother writing it in. Three times one is three. We um, then take one away from this power. So we get t squared. Do the same here, two times minus six, minus 12. Take one away from that, it's t to the power of one. Same here, it's a one up here, 
1 times 6 is 6. Take 1 away from that, uh, it's t to the power 0. Anything to the power 0 is just 1. Uh, you can actually do the same rule here, if you imagine a t to the power 0 there. But uh, I think what most students just remember is numbers or constants just become 0 when they're differentiated. They disappear. So that's the answer to part 3. For part 4, they want us to continue to use this, the derivative, but they want us to find uh, p prime of 2. So that means when we put 2 in at 2 hours, what do we get? So when we put 2 in here, what do we get? Well, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, uh, 12 times 2 is 24, minus 24, plus 6. So what does all that equal? Uh, this is minus 12 plus 6 is um, minus 6. Uh, I believe, let me just double check my notes. That's right. Um, what's throwing me off a bit there is part 5, uh, we're told the answer is 6. So I thought I'd made a mistake there. Uh, but yeah, part 5, they tell us the derivative at 4 is equal to 6. And they just want us to explain what that means um, in terms of the number of bacteria. So uh, let me just draw uh, the drawing again, something like that. So at time 2, here, it's minus 6, it's going down. At time 4, it's here, it's going up. It's, it's going up. That's what the derivative tells us. It tells us the slope, um, the rate of change. Is it going up or is it going down? At time 2, it was going down. And it was going down by 6 or 6,000 an hour. At time 4, and this is the answer they'd want you to write. Did I write any English down? Yeah, at, at 4 hours, at time 4 hours, the number of bacteria was rising at a rate of 6 or 6,000 uh, because it's a number of thousands. Anything like that, you can use your own words, just get the general idea that um, a rate of change is one of the things they're looking for. But a general idea, anything like that. Okay, in part B, they tell us they're doing a different experiment, uh, different bacteria so, and they've modeled the, the growth of this bacteria with a different uh, formula. In fact, this formula would be more common for the growth of things, um, an exponential formula. That's not important for this, but you will see it regularly enough in these questions. And um, so they give you this new formula. It works the same. We put numbers in for T, numbers in for T, and we get out answers. And that's what they want us to do in part one. They want us to find out how many bacteria there are after one hour and after two hours. So we simply put one in here. We go K1. And that's equal, we just write everything out again, 3000 multiplied by 2.72 to the power of one times a half. So what's one times a half? 0 0.5. Put this in a calculator um, and you will get 4000 uh, 948. Do the same for two hours. K2 equals 3000 times 2.72 times uh, two times, uh, sorry, two times a half is one. Put that into a calculator and you will get 8160. I'm rounding these off, by the way, uh, to the nearest whole number. Uh, so that's the answer to part one. Part two is a little trickier, and they tell you after n hours, after some number of hours, uh, there is at least 35,000 bacteria, um, according to KT. Uh, so they want you to continue this pattern, just continue working on like this, until you find the smallest number that will work. Basically, um, well, if we did K3, K4, K5, and so on down, K6, one of these would be bigger than 35,000. And what's the smallest one that is? Um, that's it. They, they say there's a, uh, they say by continuing it or otherwise. Uh, the otherwise means you could just solve this. It's more of an honors level um, a topic, but you can just solve this with an equation, you move things around, it can be done. Uh, I won't do it now because like I said, it's uh, honors level. So uh, just stay doing the same thing. Put in a calculator, get an answer. Or what I did is I jumped down, I jumped to, I think, K5, uh, I did, and I got K5, the same thing here, and I got equals 36,605, I got lucky, that looks like it's the right answer, 
And um, just to check though, we I did number four, and number four came out to twenty two thousand one hundred and ninety five. So this was the answer. Five was the answer. It's the it's the lowest number I can put in here and get more than 35,000. If you put six in, you'll get a bigger number again. It's, it's getting bigger and it's getting bigger quite quickly. Um, you could also put three in if you want to be a completionist. Anyway, that is all of question seven. If you have any follow-up questions, let me know. Uh, I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.